This documentary will look at a potential declining popularity of physical copies of books and comics, but will also link this to the growing popularity of more contemporary mediums like ebooks, Amazon, and audiobooks. Despite large businesses like Waterstones and WH Smith, who focus entirely around physical copies of books, ebooks often sell a lot more in the 21st century. However, not everyone buys physical copies of books brand new. A large demographic of people often shop at used bookstores and charity shops, where physical copies will be much cheaper. Despite the rise of superhero films over the past decade, mostly thanks to DC and Marvel, the comics the films are based on don't sell all that much when compared to their film counterparts. During the remaining months of 2016, comic sales were unexpectedly at an all-time low, and the transition into 2017 hasn't been great for comic sales either. For our first interview, we have a conversation with Noel Corliss, the owner of That Comic Shop in Preston, and heard what he had to say about declining comic sales. The shop's called That Comic Shop. Uh, it's, a, it's a comic shop, obviously. Um, have um, uh, new comics come in every week. I get set, the comics the same day America gets theirs, um, which is Wednesdays. Um, and things had to change. Back in the past, it used to be weeks before we got, before Britain got uh, comics. Uh, but things had to change because of the internet. Um, things were going to speed up because people wouldn't, people wouldn't be patient and wait for them. Uh, speaking of people, uh, I have a good loyal customer base here. People that come back every week to buy their comics, uh, which is pretty much why I'm still here. But don't tell them. You can buy all this stuff on the internet. Um, I'm only joking. Um, we have, like I say, we have regular customers come in, uh, and it's kind of a community that they're built to, uh, built up together. Um, I'm loyal to them; they're loyal to me. It's it's, it's good. Ah, right, yeah, I've worked here a long time. Uh, we've just actually just had our tenth anniversary um, in December, and to own a, a small shop like this for ten years is no small feat. But before that, I worked here for seven or eight years for somebody else, Uncle David. Uh, I walked in one day because he needed a Saturday boy. Um, Saturday boy primary job is to look after the shop while the main person who works here full time goes on his lunch for for an hour. Uh, but when I started doing that, I fell in love with the in industry and the crazy people that come in and things like that. Uh, and when he, the guy who worked here full time, left to go to university, I took over. And then when the owner of the business, David, wanted to sort of slow down and retire, uh, I bought him out. And that's it, I've been here for 10 years since then, it's been outstanding. Well, um, you can buy comic books at Waterstones um, and it's a bit difficult to compete with the huge budget they have for their books and their massive space. Um, but like I said earlier, I'm still here because of customer loyalty. Um, people do. I know that you can get anything on the internet, you don't have to leave the house nowadays. Um, and it's, it's difficult to, to compete with. But uh, you don't get same charm if you click on a, a website you do when you come in here and meet some people and talk to some people. I think that's why I'm still here. Uh, I collect comic books because I just find them really entertaining and interesting and fun to read. Uh, I, I like the illustrations and the fact that like you kind of escape from reality and everyone's got superpowers and the whole community is like together try to be nice and make the world like the best it can be. Um, I started collecting comics when I was around five. When I used to go to my nana's every week she used to buy me a brand new comic and I'd read it while I was there and that's where my obsession started really. She used to get comics every week from my nana. physical copies, I prefer holding the actual comic in my hand and being able to read off paper rather than the screen and actually being able to look at the illustrations and things like that. I feel like just having 
the physical copy is just better than having it online because you can take it anywhere whenever you want and I just think it's more authentic and, and natural really. Uh, Batman is my favourite superhero and it's just because of nostalgia because he was like the first comic book that I ever got and also things like I just love like his little belt with all his gadgets on and his Batmobile like, I think that's really cool and his sidekick Robin just little things like that are really really nice additions to the comic and no me and all my friends still read comics and talk about comics and we go to like Comic Con um, and loads of different conventions like that. Um, I think that's just even more proof, really, to show that comics aren't dying out. So, despite the suspected drop in the mainstream market, local comic businesses are still very much alive. Comics may have sold less in the past few years, but that doesn't mean they're necessarily a dying trade, as local businesses, indie comic writers and artists are seemingly keeping the bigger comic book distributors like Marvel and DC very much afloat.